Hey yo, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, beautiful people of the internet. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another lovely edition, Games Week edition of the News with Nate, the final Games Week edition of the News with Nate. We just had the individuals close out on Sunday. We know Mayhem is about to go and win another title. It was a very exciting day and there was a lot to get to and we're going to jump into it. Right before we do, a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, my homies over at Humble Roots Performance. They are creating some of the best athlete focused plant based performance CBD gummies on the market. And honestly, the thing I love most about them after spending some time with them is that each have a purpose. Whether you're looking to increase your productivity and focus during, for me, a big editing session or a big crank out of videos like I have been during the game or also trying to wind down after getting all jazzed up at 11.30 at night making this content for you guys. With the Relax product, they have a product for each of the biggest stressors that go into an athlete or every person's life. And that is a big reason why I love them. So if you guys want to check them out, they're offering 50% off until Friday with code CrossFit Games. You can try out any of their products for 50% off basically free linked below check them out all right ladies and gentlemen now we have to talk about day number five in the commencement of the crossfit games but i just gotta say man the the whole day i have all my notes here and like i wanted to just go through like point by point by point like i've been doing for each of the events and you know we have everything from like that justin passing roman on the yoke gave me chills that absolutely dominant start to basically every workout today by laura horvath just coming and cranking her way back onto the podium from like a 15th place a couple days ago like so many top stories ricky sliding down but still holding on to that podium roman krennikov doing one of the coolest things ever and finally getting to the games in person to step on that podium he's just gonna be here forever he's got a five-year visa we're excited but you know what I can't talk about any of that. I can't talk about any of that right now. I'm gonna spend next week, I was gonna take a week off. I'm not gonna lie, I was gonna take a whole week off, but I will put out videos this next coming week because there was a lot to kind of digest and unpack from this year's CrossFit game. So subscribe to the channel right now. Look forward to those. I'll put out videos coming out this week. I might take tomorrow off, <laughs> then I'll put a bunch of videos out over the next week discussing everything games. Right now, we gotta talk about Tia Claire Toomey the six time fittest woman on earth. And there is a massive question mark beside her name right now because Sean Woodland on the broadcast said for the final time, the sixth time fittest woman on earth, Tia Clara Toomey. And then after she crosses the finish line, he goes on to say, that's because she is retiring after this. This is going to be her last CrossFit game. Wondering why Tia Toomey took her time and soaked it in. This is it. Tia Clara Toomey is retiring after the Olympic games. This is the Okay, headlines. Tia Claire Toomey retires. Tia Claire Toomey's done. The illustrious six, well, eight years of high level CrossFit competition, six straight championships, fittest woman in history, most winning individual athlete in history, retires. Door open, Mal O'Brien, all the storylines. But then when Tia is asked by Nikki Brazier on the floor, hey Tia, what's the plan? Are you gonna retire? For a finish like that, we have to know, do you come back one more time or is this the end? That's the question. We'll see. Congratulations, Tia. She says, I don't know. That's the question. We'll have to see. What's happening? Is Tia Claire Toomey retiring or is she not? That is, that is just, it's wild to me because on the broadcast, it was like, this is her final year. It was definitive. It was a definitive statement. And then all of a sudden, Tia's asked on the floor and just leaves it completely open-ended. Now, here's what I'm going to say. It's like, I feel like everyone's probably looking at Sean Woodland right now and being like, Dude, what the heck? Did you just start the ultimate rumor mill, the biggest rumor mill of all time by making a decision for Tia? No, I don't think so. I think the only way Sean would have said something like that is if he was fed it by someone in her camp. And let me just say, the fact that Tia Claire's Toomey's whole family was there for the first time ever. The girl's been on the podium eight years in a row, six times as a champion, and apparently they've never been there before. This is the first time they've ever been there. That set off warning bells in my head and probably a lot of your heads early on that maybe there's a reason why her whole family's there for the first time ever. Obviously, all the time she took to soak in that last event and right after, like, I don't think Sean Williams is off here. Let me just say that. But like the fact that this game's just hit that climax, like that was just the biggest curveball at the end of the CrossFit games I've ever seen, I've ever heard. I don't know. I literally stopped watching the broadcast the moment that happened to come on here and just get this out. So I don't know if it was like readdressed by Sean on the broadcast, but just an absolutely insane little, little slew of events here and a little bit of commentary to bring to you guys. So 
Anyway, that took the cake for me today. It was a very exciting day, but that was just the ultimate pinnacle. So anyway, congrats to everyone who found themselves on the podium. Like I said, I'm gonna, instead of trying to sit here for 24 minutes and go through the entirety of the CrossFit Games and how the leaderboard shook out, I'm gonna break it into some videos over the next week. There are lots of athletes who deserve some airtime and deserve for me to talk about them and talk about their journeys and whatever. So we're gonna do that throughout this week, but I just, I this was it. Tia Claire Toomey just took over my brain and I just can't think of anything else. So that's it, crazy story. Comment down below if you know anything else, if like anything else about this, but what a weekend at the CrossFit Games. I got so much I wanna talk about, I really, really do, but yeah, that's it. I'm gonna leave it here for today. Tune in tomorrow and all the next days coming forward for some continuing coverage and kind of breakdown of everything that happened, but what a couple days. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy, man. Peace.